Don't forget, Joe and Kamala can win by three million votes and still lose. Take it from me. So we need numbers overwhelming so Trump can't sneak or steal his way to victory. Hillary Clinton using the DNC to reflect on 2016 and her loss to President Trump. Our next guest says these attacks only help Trump. Fox News contributor Tommy Lahren is here to explain. Hey, Tommy, what do you mean by that? Well, I think the fact that the Democrats would even put Hillary Clinton to speak at their convention just shows how truly tone deaf they are. And every time she speaks, it only reinforces why we voted for Donald Trump in 2016 and why we're going to vote for Donald Trump again in November. And uh, just her whole speech there, bitter much? I think the American people can see right through the smoke and mirror show and they know exactly what they're going to do in November. Hillary Clinton only helps Donald Trump's case. I know that you have a new episode of No Interruption on Fox Nation, and here is a soundbite of you speaking with Senator Blackburn, Marsha Blackburn, about what it means to be a conservative woman. Watch this. The mainstream media tries to say, oh, you're a fourth-class citizen. We don't want to hear from you. But what I have found is most women are very much like me. They're concerned about their family, their home. Tommy, your reaction? Well, what a contrast when you have someone like Senator Marsha Blackburn, a real leader, and somebody who takes the bull by the horns instead of passing off any of her faults onto somebody else. So to look at Hillary Clinton and someone like Senator Marsha Blackburn just shows that strong conservative women do have a role model and people like her, and that it's the Republicans, the conservatives that are out there fighting for law and order, fighting for the American people, fighting for election integrity, fighting to hold China accountable. And it's just such a large contrast. I don't know how the American people could not see that and vote red down ballot in November. I remember when she was running for senator, she was criticized by Taylor Swift, and then she was also slammed in Taylor Swift's Netflix documentary. Here is uh, Marsha Blackburn reacting to that. I would welcome the opportunity to sit down and visit with her. My door is always open to individuals that want to have a conversation about how do you improve the lives of Tennesseans. Did you expect that reaction? Well, I expect that from Senator Blackburn because she's such a class act. But really, we've got these celebrities that take so many hits, especially at conservative women, but they refuse to have a conversation. And here you have Senator Marsha Blackburn, who represents the state that Taylor Swift calls home. And she's saying, I'd love to have a conversation with you. Tell me your real issues. But sadly, I don't think we're going to hear from Taylor anytime soon. She's much happier spouting off in a documentary or spouting off on Twitter where she doesn't have to be held accountable. It's really a shame. Yeah, I'm surprised. Why wouldn't she sit down with her if she's critical of what's happening in her state? state, just sit down and they can have a conversation and work together. You know, I think sometimes when the truth walks in the door, the BS has to go out the window. And I think that's exactly what would happen if the two women had to sit down, Taylor Swift, to understand that she doesn't have a grasp on politics. She doesn't have a grasp on what's happening in Tennessee. And I think uh, she would be wise to sit down with Marsha Blackburn and get educated. Tommy, great to see you. If you want to watch No Interruption, you can go to Fox Nation. From now until August 22nd, you get a free copy of Sean Hannity's new book, Live Free or Die, by signing up for Fox Nation's one-year plan.